Okay, hello. Welcome to our Team Spirit team meeting in the evening. <laughs> Sonny turned off her camera too. Everybody turns her camera off, which is fine. I do the same thing when I'm not on um, talking, so it's okay. Um, but I have my notes on my phone. Um, I find that for some reason it's easier for me to actually kind of write out the meeting a little bit so I don't miss things or ramble. And I really liked, I like having these meetings on Monday nights. And I like that they're really short. They're like 15 minutes to 30 minutes tops. And it's something that you can rewatch over and over and over again. So um, I hope you guys like these too. So um, I really was thinking about what we could talk about for this meeting. And I think, and this is kind of, it's, <laughs> it's kind of hard to say this, but you know, the team is really, um, I should say the organization that you're in, which is our team spirit organization, which is my organization, we're doing pretty fantastic. And there's tons of people in the organization that's making a whole lot of money. Hi, Susan. And um, there's also a whole lot of people in the team that has potential to make a whole lot of money, but we seem to have a lot of people that are just buying for the discount, which is fine. You're totally welcome to do that. But in the last, I'd say, month or so, I've had several people really need to make money. My people say, I'm going to get a part-time job. I need to do this and do that. I just need to make a little bit extra money. And it hurts my heart so bad to know that um, people don't look at this like they can make this as their part-time money or full-time money. But we're going to talk about the part-time money um, because – um, I actually wrote this down so that I wouldn't uh, say it wrong, but the concept to make $500 or $5,000 a month is the same. It's just about starting small, but beginning now. So our saying in Tupperware is think big, start small, but begin now. So think big and we should be thinking big. We should absolutely be thinking about what the big picture is. And I asked what your dreams were on a post the other day. And for example, Karen had said that she really, really, really wanted to upgrade her living situation. And that's a really big dream. And I know that we all have our own dreams. There is not one that's better than the other. They're all great. It's just, it's your dream. And it could be big or it could be small, but we're going to take um, a second to actually just talk small. So I want you to think big in your mind, but the small thing is how can you make $500 in your pocket before the end of July? How can you do that? And like I said just a minute ago, um, oh, James says he can't hear anything in here. You can't hear anything, James? Okay, I'm sorry. Let me just pause for just a second because if you can't hear anything. Um, but you guys can hear me, right? You guys can hear me okay? Yeah, okay. Yes. Um, okay. Um, is your volume up all the way? The others can hear. Okay, sorry. I know he's this is the first time he's been on the Zoom, and I just wanted to make sure. Um, I didn't need to pause. I apologize. Let's unpause. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go over my notes because it's easier for me to go over my notes and then kind of go off of that because I don't want to miss anything. So um, like I had said, um, concept is the same. So let's start small with about like 500, and once you see how easy it is, you can bump it up and make more money. First, let's think about what you are going to do with your $500. Are you gonna spend it? What are you gonna spend it on? Are you gonna save it? What are you gonna save it for? Are you gonna pay a bill? What bill will you pay? Be specific. Write down or draw or create some sort of visual for you to look at. Visuals are important and they're gonna keep us going and keep us in line. And I'm going to actually stop there for a second because I want to just little, literally take a second for you guys to think about for just a second. I mean, you don't have to go like completely huge in depth. I just want you to think for a minute. If you had $500 extra in your pocket before the end of July, what would you do with it? Would you um, 
would you save it, spend it, or pay a bill? Write that first out. Would you save it, spend it, or pay a bill? Okay, so I hope you wrote that down. So if you said save it, um, think for a second what you'll save it for. If you will spend it, think for a second what you're gonna spend it on. And if you're gonna pay a bill, what specific bill will it be? The reason why this is so important is because I'm not gonna lie and I'm gonna say, it's gonna be fantastic and everything's gonna go great and your plan that you make is gonna be smooth and it's gonna be wonderful and you're gonna be like, yes, I just think this is wonderful and great. No, you're gonna have a bump or two or three or four or five. It depends because some people have a very smooth ride in the beginning and then have a couple of bumps or some people have the bumps in the beginning and then have a smooth ride. Everybody's a little bit different. Nobody is the same. But I need you to think about what it is that you want because if you think about it and you know it, then it's going to help you with your bump in the road because it's going to happen. Your, a party is going to cancel or you're going to go to this party that gives me a $1,000 party and one person is going to show up and it's going to be $100 in orders. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, that was the worst thing ever. Or you're going to go to a party at some point and you're gonna get zero datings, but you're gonna get sales. You'll get no sales, but three datings. Or, you know, it, everything is gonna be a little bit different because nothing goes perfect because it's not a perfect world. It's not a perfect business. It's not perfect anything, right? But keeping yourself focused and knowing that this is just the way it is sometimes, you know? We work for ourselves, and when you work for yourselves, you know, I mean, things happen. Even when you don't work for yourselves, things happen, right? Have you ever had a job and it didn't go as planned for your day? You didn't quit your job. You just moved on, right? And the one thing in your mind was, if I quit my job, I can't pay my bills. And if I quit my job, I don't have my insurance. And if I quit my job, you know, fill in the blank. And that's why we stay at our jobs, right? There's James again. Hi, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, okay. okay, good. I'm so glad. Um, and I did record the first half so far, James, just so you know. So whatever you missed, if you want to watch the first, like, couple minutes, you can. Okay. Okay. So, um, and don't be offended. I do mute um, if I need, if, like, if I, there's background noise, I mute. But I'm not going to mute unless I need to. So, um, so that's what's really important is having a visual. And I have this vision board that I make at the beginning of every year. And it's on my wall in my office, and it really keeps me focused because I'm not going to lie and say that my business is perfect and great and wonderful and rainbows and butterflies, but it's not. I have so many bumps in the road all the time, and that's just because that's life, and I don't get discouraged. So um, last night, I redid it because it's like the halfway point, so I'm like, oh, some of these things happened, or I want to add some things to it, or I didn't think that this would even be on my list, and now it is. And so I actually am looking at it now, so I have one on my wall. So create that visual. I'm going to just move everybody here real quick, sorry. Um, create that visual. Okay, so let me go back to my notes here. Okay, how to make $500. This is $2,000 in personal sales. Actually, because of our bonus program, you'll make $600. You'll make $500 in commission and $100 bonus from Tupperware. So let's break this down because like I said, I want you to have $500 in your pocket before the end of July. And this is weaving it in with all of your other stuff, your work schedule, your kids' schedule, um, whatever it is that's on your schedule, this is weaved in. So this is not something that's going to take all of your time. It's going to take a very small portion of your time, but $500 is a whole lot of money and nobody's going to hand you $500 without doing some work. So there is some work involved. It's just, it's just simple. So there are several ways to go about this. I'm going to give you a few ways and then you're, and then you should choose which one is best. So I'm going to give you the three ways that you're gonna get your $2,000 in sales, which is gonna make you $600 in commission. So number one, have four in-home parties, one every week. Number two, have two in-home parties and two online parties, again, one every week. Number three, have two book parties one week, have one in-home party the next week, have an online party the next week, and then host your own party and collect $250 in orders. 
it seems like, oh yes, but it's still having parties. Yes, it is because we're a party plan business and that's what we do. But do you see the pattern here? Have a goal set for the week. Uh, the goal is $500 a week. So let's not break down to 2000 a month because that's huge. Let's break it down to $500 in a week. So have a goal set. Decide now on what you're gonna do for each week and do it. Make a plan and work your plan. Personally, me personally, I like to collect orders throughout the week. I choose one or two um, sale price items and make a goal of what to sell for that week and do it. For example, I'm gonna sell five Fridge Mart sets this week or I'm gonna sell 15 sets of the Wonder Layers bowls this week. So you can break it down. So the Wonder Layer bowls are $19. Um, I don't know where my calculator is. I literally have two calculators on my desk at any given time. Oh, there it is. There it is, right here. So let's do the math. So let's just say you wanna have um, $500 in sales just by collecting orders. Okay, so let's break that down and divide that by $19. So that's 26.3, so let's just say 27 Wonder Layer Bowls so, sold at $19 a piece. That seems like a whole lot, but if you break it down even more and think, okay, who can I have sell 10 sets of these? You know, do I have a girlfriend that works at a salon or do I have somebody that I know that um, is around people all the time or works in an office or, um, or just is very social, you know, that their kids are in a bunch of stuff or something, you know? Give them the sale flyer and say, I need you to collect 10 of these. If you collect 10 orders of these, then, and you can tell her, 10 orders. It's 190 in sales. So um, here's what I do, and it does cut into the commission. I usually give her a set for free. So I say, you'd sell 10 sets of these. I'll give you a set for free. So you might think, oh yeah, but then it cuts into my $600 that I'm making. It kind of does and it kind of does and it sort of evens out a little bit because it's not you doing all the work. So break it down and find people. So you could find three or four or five people or maybe you can find 10 people to sell five sets a piece. And then that way it's kind of like happy helpers and they're helping you along. So that's one way that you can do it. Um, another way to do it is, like I said, host and home parties. And some people think, and I'm gonna get to how to date parties at the end of this, but I just wanted to like set the tone for this. Um, uh, la, 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 where am I? Okay, so the goal is to sell as many sets. So print off the flyer, save the flyer to your phone, Text people the deal, take the flyer with you places, share the deal, post on your Facebook group page, private message people, send it in the mail, and then call and follow up. You can host your own Facebook party. Go live and talk about that item. These are just some ideas on how to sell your weekly goals. So when you set your weekly goal, don't give up. And if you make your goal early, don't stop there, keep going. And also, be sure to close it out on the Friday or before. It's a weekly goal for a reason. So if you say, oh, I'll just close it on Saturday, then you didn't make your weekly goal. Your weekly goal, and, remember, and, and again, I, I know I'm kind of pushing some of my practices on you, and that's fine. Um, if you don't want to do them, it's fine. But uh, it works really well. I just tell people, I put my orders on Fridays. I even tell my hostesses this. If I have a party with you on Monday, I put my orders in on Friday. If I have a party on Wednesday, I put my orders in on Friday. If I have a party on Thursday, I put my orders in on Friday. And if I have a party on Friday, I put my orders in on Friday. There has been times that I have had a party on Friday and I told them I'm gonna close it on Monday, but I rarely like to do that because I just know I close myself on Fridays. It's the easiest thing in the world. And actually even all my customers, they still know, hey, I know you're putting an order on Friday. Can you add this to it? Or, you know, and they know if they call me on Saturday, I'm like, well, you know, you just missed my Friday mark. So you're going to have to wait till Friday. And um, if they need it earlier, then I just charge them the full shipping and directly ship it to them. And they know that too. So, um, so that's just something that you can, maybe put into practice of pick a day that you're going to close all your stuff. So my weekly goals are weekly goals for a reason. If you break it down by monthly, then it's going to be the third week of the month and you're going to go, crap, I didn't make my goals. How am I going to do it in a week and a half? Trust me, been there, done that, got the t-shirt. So I just need you guys to remember to break it down. If you got to break it down daily, let's do that. 500 divide by seven days. 
So that's $71 daily. So what can you do to make $71 in sales daily? It's just a breakdown for you. I like to break things down because when I see the big number, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so big. Like when they gave us our goal, our goal this year was to hit a million, let's see, 1 million point, point 0.001 or something, like basically 1 million in sales this year. And I remember looking at that going, oh my word. Oh my word, I mean, we were really close to it last year. We should make a million this year and we're actually on pace, which is just crazy. But I had to break it down because that was a crazy number to me that I just couldn't put my mind around. Okay, so four parties. Let's move on to the next part. If you think or say this at all, no one wants to have a party, then guess what? You're right. No one wants to have a party with you. <laughs> because no one wants to have a party with a Debbie Downer. Obviously, there are people out there wanting and willing to have a party. We are a million, or excuse me, a billion dollar business, and most of that comes from in-home parties. It's just a matter of you finding the people. How can you find the people? Well, first, you have to be willing to do one yourself. If you're not willing to do one yourself, then you're probably not going to find other people to do one either. And I know that there are exceptions. Every rule, I've actually had people who were very successful that never really did one themselves. And I always thought that was kind of odd, but they did it. Um, I just say do one for yourself. I'm doing one for myself this Thursday in my home because I still do them in my, I still do them. You know, you still have to do them for yourself. So host your own. Put yourself through the party planning process. This way you know and understand it. Use the checklist and go down the checklist for yourself. Actually, do it. Invite people, follow up with them, remind them, collect outside orders, have three to 10 people at your party. This is doable and anyone can do it. So ask your friends and family to do a restart party for you. Go over old lead slips, get into a vendor show. They're everywhere. And that right there is how I grew my business and still growing is vendor shows, fairs, festivals, anything that you can get into. And as Susan knows, sometimes there are duds and sometimes they're not. And that's okay. I've done my share of duds, <laughs> but um, I've done more successful ones than duds. And you just never, never know because I remember doing this one show, I'm gonna tell you this story, I did this show. And they had it on the Ohio State Michigan game day and for those of you who are on the west coast you don't know what a big deal it is but those of you on the east coast you know it's a big deal so they did it on this big day oh i'm sorry susan does know because she's from michigan originally um and so it was on this big day and nobody came through this vendor show nobody was coming through at all and everybody was like oh man, man, man. they're complaining i want my money back and i was like hmm. I'm just gonna take my opportunity to meet everybody, you know? So I walked around, I was really friendly, and I met all the vendors, and guess what? I sold so much because they all came over, and I did like three parties, and no one came through, and I think I got recruits out of that too in the long run. I'm pretty sure it's been a long time, but you just never know what you're gonna get from it, and it was just because I wasn't sitting there being a negative Nelly. I decided to get up and go meet people and mingle because that can help, and so even the duds, Something can come out of it. All right, let me go down my notes here. Um, okay, join a networking group. This one is important and they are everywhere around you. Make the time and invest in yourself. I um, joined the chamber here as soon as I got out here because I knew that was gonna be something really important. Not as soon as I got out here, I got settled and then I joined the chamber. Um, and actually I was just about to join the chamber when I was um, in Ohio, right before we moved, and I'm glad I didn't because I, when I went to go sign up, I was like, oh, I'm gonna wait another two weeks, and then we found out like a week later after that we were gonna move, so really glad I didn't sign up for that, but um, the chamber is such, it's like this hidden gem that people don't realize. If you're in business for yourself, you should be a part of it. They have networking events, and they've got meet and greets all the time. They have emails that go out, and they have newsletters, and they have just all this stuff to get you exposure. And people trust you. They trust you more because you're in the network. If you're not in the chamber, there's so many network events. Use the app Meetup, M-E-E-T-U-P. It's an app, and you can put it in there, and you can find everything from a networking group to a walking group to a women's club 
I mean, seriously, you can find almost anything that you possibly could want to get involved in. And um, I did that a lot, when I, especially when I first moved here. When people say to me, like just recently I had a girl say, I don't know anybody where I'm moving to, so I can't sell Tupperware. Dude, I moved across the country. I knew not a single person, not a single, single person, and I still did it. And they're like, yeah, but you had your team stuff back home. Yeah, but that was back there. And yes, I'm getting like credit and I'm getting like sales from that, but I was brand spanking new consultant when I moved out here in my mind. That's how I started as a brand new consultant. I had to re-meet everybody and everything. And I did it all through these apps and just meeting people and networking and Facebook. I found so much on Facebook. Um, and I just brought catalogs with me and business cards and I talked to people and people love to talk back. People love to talk. If you don't think they love to talk, you're talking to the wrong people. People love to talk. Okay. Um, if you're willing to actually put in the effort, it will pay off. Sometimes right away and sometimes it takes a little time. People love online parties. Date some online parties with people who live far away. This is the time to call your cousin in Iowa and ask them to earn free Tupperware. So as you can see, the list is so long on what to do. I could give you an exact roadmap, but I wanted you to have some options. This way you can make it work for your lifestyle. So now here is what you need to do today. This is how you're going to start. So when I said begin now, I for real mean begin now. If, we're, if you're watching this on a recording later or you're watching it live now, think about how you're gonna begin now. So number one, get out your planner. If you do not have one, you can go buy one, they're cheap. Or you can go to principalcalendar.com and print one off. I actually print off one, even though I have one. Mouse, I need you to move. I print one off every month. This is what I do, I print one off. And I have my own calendar as well that's a planner. In your calendar, first fill in your family and work obligations, and then you can see what you have available. Fill in the gaps. This $600 you will make before the end of July will not be super easy, and it will take some effort. But let's be real, no one is just gonna hand you $600 just because for no reason. But the difference is you are your own boss. You can choose your work times, but making out your planner is choosing work times and working. This requires phone calls, texts, PMs, follow-ups, reminders, printing, talking, practicing, and acting like you care. I know that seems crazy to say that, but there's a lot of people out there that will call me, and actually they call, I have people, lots of people call me, La, 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 this doesn't work. Well, are you working? <laughs> and I'm like, that's the difference. And I, I know that sounds kind of harsh, but it's the truth. If you look at what you have and you're doing nothing in the business, you're going to get nothing back. It's the same thing in life, right? If you don't clean your house every day, it's going to get messy, right? It's going to get dirty. It's going to get dusty, right? If you don't, um, if you don't take a shower, you're going to smell, right? You know, I mean, these are the same things. It's the same concept of if you don't at least put an effort, and I don't mean making one phone call to the same sister that you called 18 times, and she's like, leave me alone because I don't want to do a Tupperware party. Leave me alone. And you're like, nobody wants to have a party because this is exactly what I'm going to say to you. How many nobodies did you talk to? I need to know that. And that's okay if you get a lot of no's because we do go through those phases too where you get a whole lot of no's and you think that the world is over and you're never going to get another yes again and oh, this is horrible. And then all of a sudden you get a yes and you're like, yay, it's all back to normal again because it happens. But you got to act like you care because um, then it will happen. All right, so let's get started. You have your roadmap to success. Now go drive on your road and use your map. I don't remember writing that, but that's good. <laughs> it was like six in the morning. I was up, which I'm never up that early. And I get my best like thinking ideas and I text out my, my notes and stuff in early, early, early morning. And so I'm going to use that again because that was good. But anyway, so here's your roadmap to success. It really is your roadmap. It's not mine. And that's why I couldn't give you the exact one. I thought about making a worksheet, but I don't think the worksheet is going to work. That's funny. The worksheet is not going to work because you are the one that has to make your worksheet. You're the one that's going to have to look at your date book and say, look, I'm going to work on this day and this day. Or, you know, all orders go in on Fridays. And then what are you going to do every day? Who are you going to talk to? You're going to talk to five people or three people or two people or who are you going to call? Specifically, go down your phone list and your contacts and write down, I'm going to call these five people today. I'm going to text these 10 people because texting is easier than calling so you can double it, right? I mean, like, who are you going to message? And I don't mean posting on Facebook because you can post on Facebook 18 million times a day, but that doesn't mean it's going to work. 
You know, I mean, I actually had somebody say, Facebook and social media does not work. I literally thought to myself, okay, so all of these millions of people were making a living on social media. It doesn't work, right? It doesn't work. And I was like, and it, sometimes I have to bite my tongue because I get cut, so I'm kind of sarcastic with people and I really need to stop. But the point is, is you have to work it. So if you post on social media all day long, it's not really gonna work. Social media, you have to post uh, a certain way. That's a whole other training, to be perfectly honest. And I do want you to post on there, but make your private group and, and make your posts meaningful. I know I talked about this last week. Actually, this is last week's meeting was how to make your social media more meaningful and work for you. And there's just a quick 15 minutes little tips and tricks. So you can go back and watch that because it is on, um, if you scroll down the team page, but if you go onto the YouTube page that I have that's just for training and team meetings, it's on there and you can watch it there. So, um, so I told you 15 to 30 minutes, it's 628 now. I wanna thank you guys for getting on. If you have any questions, go ahead and feel free to ask. If you do, go put, the, I just opened my chat bar up so you guys can chat a question. Um, if you think of a question later, go ahead and message me, that's fine too. Um, but I really just wanted, I want you guys to really think about just that $500. I know you'll make 600, but I think 500 sounds like a better number. $500, it's a whole lot of money. And you can make that super, I hate to say the word super simple, but it can be simple. It's not that it's easy, it's simple. You know, you're just gonna make your formula and go for it. And the formula is basically working. What are you gonna do today to get closer to your goal? You might have to spend five minutes every day of the week to make your goal, or maybe 10 minutes. Or sometimes you can spend 15 minutes. Spend 15 minutes and then you can do that four times and that's a power hour right there, right? 15 minutes a day and that's your power hour. Of, you're gonna power through and you're gonna talk to people. And I just think it's important for you to at least plan your work and work your plan. All right, guys, no questions. That's okay, that means I did a great job and you have no questions and that works for me. Or maybe you're just thinking about things and that's okay too, I like that. And you can obviously um, message me later. I am really thankful you guys got on tonight. Um, yay, we haven't seen James in a while. Woohoo, James is back on, yes. Um, and, we, and, so, and actually, James is gonna um, YouTube channel. Yes, I will post the link on the Team Spirit Facebook page so that you guys can have that link for the YouTube. Um, James was on um, our team years ago and he was one of our top managers. And I tell you, he grew to the top quicker than any other manager that we've ever had in Team Spirit. He, I think, I don't think he ever had a party that was under $1,000. And I know that everybody was like, that's crazy. And I'm like, well, you know, I was gonna bring him on very soon and have him talk about how he did it. And I know that he, right now his life is a little bit different than what it was back then. And he has um, his own business. And so, you know, Tupperware is really, really part-time, 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 but we just love having him on the team, which is great. Um, and he can pick it up whenever he wants. Because it'd be great. <laughs> that was a little guy in the back. Hi. And so, um, but yeah, I'm going to have him on very soon because, um, like I said, I don't think I've ever seen a manager um, as quickly successful as he was. And, um, and he is not the typical personality that, you know, people are like, oh, you have to be just like me. He's nothing like me. Actually, he's the complete opposite of me. And the funny thing was, is it just kind of worked because, um, you know, he, anyways, it's a whole thing we're going to talk about later. And so well, I'm going to have him on soon in the next couple of weeks because I talked to him and he said that he would do that. So, all right, guys, it's 631. I went over time. I'm very sorry, but you guys have a super sparkly night and I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye.